Hey guys, it is Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Got a great one from the 80s today. We learned how to, how to play I Just Died in Your Arms by Cutting Crew. So this is just one of those classics. Just, just an incredible song. Just so well laid out. And got really great guitar work throughout um, by Kevin McMichael. So the, the late, great Kevin McMichael. He is just all over the place. There's just a really cool fill. It's got a really unique solo. It's just really cool. Everything's just really melodic too. Um, so I'm going to go through everything uh, for the most part, uh, the whole song, got mostly note for note, there's a couple of overdubs and layered things and like the outro solo stuff, I'll, I'll kind of skip that, but for the most part all the main guitar stuff and the solo stuff we're going to take a look at. Alright, before I get into it, please subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and ring that notification bell so you know when I see a new video, of course, so you can like and comment and help me out on YouTube here. Um, and if you really want to help out what I do on YouTube, some people ask, what's the best way to support you? Uh, well, it's to join my Guitar Academy. So uh, you'll see a link to the, my Academy in the description below. That link will actually give you a free seven-day trial to my Academy as well. But it, my Academy contains all my guitar courses covering everything from like be complete beginner courses to more advanced courses on technique, improvisation, ear training, theory, guitar tone, you name it. I got a lot of stuff there covering many different styles. And you, it, everybody gets personalized support from me. So if you need help, you just send me a quick email and I usually send you back like an audio message kind of helping you through whatever issue you got going on. So you get in personalized support from me. So click that link below, get a free seven day trial and I hope to see you there. All right, so let's jump into this. I'm in uh, standard tuning here. Let's not start on that tone. All right, so um, what I've done here is taken this intro, the, the little synth part and made it more of a more of a guitar part. So uh, I'm doing this first with a B minor. You, I was, you, you can probably tell I'm doing a lot of thumb chords here. Uh, but you can just do it was a regular B minor chord as a bar at the seventh fret and the ninth fret on the A and the D. And just to kind of mimic what the the, the synth is doing, you just kind of hit the chord and then just kill it, just release the pressure in the left hand. All right, and then we're gonna jump over here to this little. Now what's going on there, this is based around an E, so an E chord, it starts with an E sus four chord. So that's gonna be the uh, seventh fret on the A, ninth on the D and the G, and then 10 on the B. So it starts as a sus four, then it's going to go to a regular E minor chord. What that basically means is you're going to take the note that's on the 10th fret of the B string and move it down to the 8th fret now. So now we just have the 7th on the A, 9 on the D and the G, and 8 on the B. And then you're going to continue taking that note on the B string down another fret. So now that goes down to the 7th fret. So you should be taking care of that now with the bar. And that is now an E sus 2 chord. this. All right, and then what we're going to do is jump back here to uh, an A major, it's, it's an A major add nine chord to start. So the best way to kind of get this around on the guitar is just play the four middle strings. We have the open A string, and then you're going to bar the second fret across the D, G, and the B. All right, so we've got that. And then what you're gonna do, uh, when you first play it though, you're gonna add the, um, the ninth, so that add nine, it's gonna be this B here that's at the fourth fret of the G, on the G string. So you're still kind of muting with that ninth chord and then re resolve that down to the regular A major chord, so with this. And then it goes to an F sharp minor chord, but it plays it in with the top note. There's a reason I kind of like doing this with, the, with this thumb chord here. You really actually don't need the bottom. Um, what You hear like an F um, sharp minor chord with F sharp being the high melody note at first. So just like that. So that's a bar across the second fret of the, uh, the high E, B, and the G with the fourth fret there on the D. And then it goes to the, the um, fifth of the chord, this C sharp being the 
the melody notes. So it still stays on an F sharp minor chord. So for that one, it's funner to just come down and grab the low um, F sharp here on the low E string, the uh, fourth fret on the A and the D, and then borrowing the second fret on the G and the B. So we have this. Or you can just kind of do it like I was doing it. Like, Did you want to hear it? That note is being the, the top note, it's always kind of the melody note. So we have this all together. Repeat. And then there's kind of a, when the vocals come in with that kind of opening chorus, it's a simplified version of that. So that's just going on a regular B minor chord. And then take that up to the seventh fret to make it a, so a B minor first of all. Uh, bar at the second fret. And so that root note is the fifth string there, the A string. Play the fourth fret on the D string, fourth fret on the G, and third fret on the B. So I take that and move it up to the seventh fret. Same chord shape. And then the same A add nine to A transition that we did earlier in the intro. And then just to a regular F sharp minor chord. So it's a full bar now at the second fret. Uh, and we're going to play the 4th fret on the A and the D above it, in front of it. So all together. Alright, and now we have uh, Kevin McDonald finally comes in with uh, some really cool guitar melodies. Um, now underneath these melodies though, first of all the melody is that, that kind of thing. Underneath that we have this. Alright, so that starts with a B minor, straight B minor chord. And it transitions to what you can, some people just say it's an A with an A major chord with a B in the bass. But the technical term for that would be a B9 sus4 chord. So don't really worry about it. You could think of it just like, play it like an A major chord. But on that note, instead of an open A string, the fifth, the uh, open A string, you had that at the second fret, that B. So we have this B minor to that, and then you go back again, B minor. So this is kind of a little guitar melody is what's going on underneath that. So we have this. All right, now the guitar melody itself, you kick in a little distortion, we have this. So we have um, basically the 11th fret on the D string to the 7th fret on the G over to the 10th fret on the B. So it kind of skips across strings there. Kind of let that ring. It's a nice vibrato on it. And then when he does the melody again, he's going to add a couple notes at the end. We do the same first three notes. We then go to 7 on the high E and then seven on the B string. So all together. All right, then we get to the actual verse section. Now the verse, um, you know, has these guitar, that same guitar melody kind of going on over. Uh, you'll, you'll sometimes, you kind of hear that over the verse, but same thing that we've already covered. The verse chorus looks like this.
And it takes us to the chorus. So it starts with a B minor seventh chord up here at the seventh fret there. Uh, so a full bar across the seventh fret and just play the ninth fret on top above it, so in front of it. So we have the ninth fret on the A string. Now from there, so that's a voicing of the a minor seventh chord. We're gonna, a little bit different voicing in the minor seventh chord coming up in a, in a second. So now we go to a, a, a G major add nine chord. Now you can just really use the, the top four strings. You don't have to add that bass note like I am, but you can the low, Third, the third fret of the low E string if you want to add that, but we really can just do it here. So the fifth fret there on the D, fourth on the G, third on the B, and fifth on the high E string. Then it goes to an A major chord. So it's regular A major. And here's where that different minor seventh chord. We're gonna do an F sharp minor seventh chord. So it's gonna be a full bar at the uh, second fret fifth fret on the B string, and then uh, fourth fret on the A string. So you see it's like this one, but and we, we're put, playing that shape where we're gonna add this, the fifth fret there on the B. Let's just repeat that, B minor seven, G add nine. The F. Now it's just a good transition note here, a little guide note. You can play that since you're playing that. If you play that A major with your pinky there on the B string, you can just move up and you got that note already on the same string, and then lay the rest of the chord down. Now when we're getting ready to go to the chorus, um, Kevin McDonald, uh, Kevin, sorry, McMichael plays this. So that's just kind of the some double stops here. The second fret on the D and the G, and then four on the A and the D. And then the same thing on the two on the A and the D. And then I kind of repeat that. And that transitions us to the chorus. Uh, now the chorus, um, I'm, it's got some distortion on it, but it's kind of easier to hear the notes if we don't actually have all the distortion there. So I'm going to play it without distortion here. Um, he plays it a couple different ways throughout the song, um, but it sounds kind of like this. All right, so there is some slight variations that he'll do throughout, but we're gonna start here with just this B minor chord. So. And then we're gonna come up here and take that up to that E minor that we did earlier, so I kind of. And then he's gonna do this little, he's gonna arpeggiate this E minor, so we get up to the E minor, and you're gonna pick from the B to the G to the D. And then what you, all you have to do is pick up the notes here and then pick across the same B, G, and the high, yeah, B, G, and the D. Like that. So they're all at the seventh fret. And then we're going to jump down to this A, A chord. So you're going to want to play that like that, just to kind of barring the second fret there. Because it's going to go into. So what's that? We're gonna slide from the fourth fret on the G up to the sixth. And when we get there, you can now add the fifth fret on the B and the, high, and the open high E. So we have this. So when you get to that C sharp here, which is the sixth fret on the G, and you add that five on the B and open high E, Hit that a couple times. 
then you slide back down to that four, and then two on the G. And then we have this. So that's going four, two, on the D string here. Four, two, four, two, four, two, zero. And then back to the B minor. So So all together. Now he'll add that little ending right there. You'll see him do stuff like that every once in a while. And it kind of just kind of just like we when we went to the chorus, um, the end of that verse riff of hear that sometimes. Um, not every time though. So, uh, the most of the time is just all right now at the end of it here we have this little um, he repeats that a few times and we go back to this All right, now that, first of all, is over that G major add nine. It's kind of like a, a lower voiced version of it though. So this is one that at the end of the chorus comes in. This is just a G, the third fret on the low E string. Then the open A, open D, second fret on the G, and then the third fret there on the B. And then that guitar melody kind of comes in. So we have this. And then we got that same little B minor to B9 sus4. And that, that comes in after it. So what's uh, Kevin McDonald over that? He's doing this. Uh, it's not McDonald. I keep calling him McDonald. Sorry about that. It's McMichael. Sorry, I'm going to get lots of comments, but I really don't care. Um, um, uh, anyway, everybody makes mistakes. So we have, uh, we're going to start here this. So that's going to be, remember, we're going to do kind of a staccato. That's the seventh fret on the high E to the fifth fret, uh, the seventh fret on the B. And then we have 10th fret on the B and 9th fret on the G. Then 7th fret on the B to 7th fret on the G. From there, we're going to play, we're going to pull off from 9 to 7 on the G. Back to over to 9 on the D. And then back to that seven on the G. And then you're gonna hit this uh, B minor triad here, just barring the seventh fret across the high, the high E, B, and the G string. Then hit it a couple more times. And then the first half of that melody. So we had this all together at the end of that chorus. All right, so uh, now Kevin McMichael, he's really kind of going all over the place with his fills and just really creating these really nice textures over the music. Um, so this is really apparent here when we get to verse number two, where he's got quite a bit of things going on here. So it looks like this. So 
That starts kind of with the same thing that we did in the first verse, that B minor seven to that G add nine. But now he starts kind of doing his own thing over those same chords. Those same chords will keep going, but he does his own thing over it. So that's gonna slide into these double stops of the seventh fret on the G and the B. And then six on the G, five on the B. And then take that down two frets to third fret on the B, fourth on the G. And then just an A power chord a couple times over this. And then that F sharp minor. And then he jumps up and grabs this. So it's just kind of that 12th fret on the high E and the 10th fret on the B. A little bit of vibrato bar there, so we have this. Now we start that kind of figure that we did earlier, um, kind of leaving the previous chorus. We have this. So that's gonna be kind of the same thing. He just kind of adds a little bit and, and then he doubles it. So we have this, still the two sevens that we started with, and then the 10 and the nine. So just like before, then the two sevens on the B and the G. But here he's gonna add now the nine on the G, nine on the D. So like this. Now I'll just repeat that. So here, when you get down to the nines, you only can kind of hit the first nines on the ones on the G. And then he's gonna jump back here and go. So we have this, the fours, down these double stops at the fourth fret on the D and the G, and the G. Hit those a couple times. Then the second fret on the D and the G. Then over to the fourth fret on the uh, A and the D. And then he has this. And that's gonna be basically, you can pick the second fret on the A and the D together, then hammer on the fourth fret on the A. Then over to the second fret on the D and the G. And then do a quick pull off from uh, four to two on the D. Over to the fourth fret on the A, and then back to those two, uh, the A and the, the second fret on the uh, D and the G. So we have this. So. Then you're gonna finish that off with an F sharp minor chord, and then there's a little bend there at the fourth fret on the G. And then that same ending that kind of always takes us to the chorus that we did before. So all together for that second verse, see if you can uh, play along with this. Then we're to the chorus again. Chorus is pretty much the same. Like I said, he does some variations here or there. I'll talk a little bit about those variations real quick, just briefly. So we can do it, this chorus is the same way we've been doing. And that will sound fine. A couple times he'll add a little variation. So he'll do something like this. So basically, he does that same. And then when he gets back to the B minor, he plays over to this B string, the, the third fret there is the melody note. And then takes it down to that second fret on the B, and then the uh, fourth fret on the G. So you hear that little melody. It might just be a, like an overdub he just done a little bit, but you can hear that a couple times in the later chorus sections. And then, 
Same thing as before. And then with. I'll do that kind of. You've heard that a couple times as well, too. So, or maybe at least once. So, we had the fifth fret on the B and the high E. And then the um, sixth fret there on the G. So it's just kind of the endings that he's adding little things to here or there. Kind of stuff like that. All right, so it's just give you the option to do it or you can kind of continue to do it like we did earlier. Sounds great either way. Um, and then from there, um, we have the bridge section. Chords are a little bit weird, so we kind of have this G that kind of stays in bass. It kind of sounds like this. G with a, uh, a D major chord over a G, and then back to the G. It's kind of, this is really kind of leading us into the solo. So we can start this with a G, kind of a G. And then play that D major. You can just do a D major if you want, or keep that G there, and then back to the G. It's, but if you listen to it, it's kind of a really odd harmony going on there. Uh, just with the thing, you can hear something going in the bass and guitar, and then something completely different on the keys or whatever. But you can hear that D major on top, and still hit that G. So you just kind of play it like that, maybe, and then back to the G. And then, but the big thing is it lead that leads us into the solo. So I'm gonna play through Kevin McMichael's solo. Ah, I got his name right. And um, I'll play through his solo real quick. So really some great stuff in it, really melodic. And then I'll show you how to play it note for note. So we have this. So this is um, got some really nice stuff in it. So we're gonna start with the kind of the build up. So that's sliding into the third fret on the B. Oh, sorry, the G string, and then over to the second fret there on the B string. Then pretty much the same thing, one fret higher. So sliding into four on the G and three on the B. And then the same thing, two frets higher. So it's sliding into six on the G, five on the B. From there, we're gonna go kind of slide from two to three on the G. So back there again, over to two on the high E. And then sliding into the sixth fret on the G, and then um, six fret on the, then play the sixth fret on the high E. So high E string, so we have this. All right, and then the actual solo kind of leads into the solo, and the solo really starts here. So that's gonna start with 14 on the high E string, to 12 on the beat. I then play 10 on the beat, to seven on the G. Try this. Then up to 12 on the high E string, to 10 on the B. Try this. Then you go back and just hit this um, A major chord here. And then some, a uh, couple of bends, whole step bends at the fourth fret on the G string. Release, pull off to two. And then in some bends again. Release, pull off to two. And then you get back to the four, so with this. From there, with this. So we have this four, then the three on the B, 
Right there, the four on the G, and then five on the B. It kind of rotates between those melodies. Keep coming back to that fourth fret on the G string. It's kind of point between that three and five twice. And then we get down to that the third fret there on the, the third time. You're gonna play that a couple times. Over to four on the G. And then two on the B a couple of times. And then pull off four to two on the G. So we have this. And then we have this little ending legato like. Take us back to the chorus there. So that little lick is going to be kind of a three four note licks. We have, uh, we're going to pull up, play the second fret on the G string, uh, pull off to the open G, over the fourth fret on the D, and then open G again. So it's the first four note grouping. From there we have this. That's going to be the fourth fret on the D, pull off to two, pull off to the open D, over to uh, fourth fret on the A. And then we're going to, that's, that's the second group of four. And then we have the last group of four, which is two on the D, pull off to the open D, and then play four on the A, pull off to two. From here, he just, it sounds like he kind of just might grab the F sharp with his thumb, and then goes back to that second fret there. Um, and then we're back to the, really the intro chords again. So we kind of have this, the same thing as before, that those. Oh, yeah. That same little ending lead gets into the chorus, and then it just goes into the outro chorus. Alter chorus, just kind of the same stuff that's been going on in the previous choruses. You can do those little variations we talked about. There is a little bit of outro solo guitar work as it fades out, but I'm not really going to cover that. But um, um, anyway, you can just kind of continue the same chorus and doing your own thing with it. Um, but it's just it's just a really great song. It's just got so much good stuff. Uh, so how it's arranged and it builds dynamically and how Kevin McMichael, he just kind of added these guitar textures and just it's just really kind of brought the song to life. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.